Hey guys, it's Belinda. Today is going to be a fun video. I'm going to show you how to slice surfaces in Dynamo to create an interlocking model that you can 3D print or laser cut. This video is going to loosely follow the n-dimensional list tutorial on Dynamo Primer. I'm going to use the surfaces that they have provided in this uh, tutorial, but I'm going to manipulate it differently. So here I have a new Dynamo file open. The first thing I'll do is bring in the surface that I downloaded from Dynamo Primer and I'll do that with the file path node. I then want to import the surface into this Dynamo environment using the geometry.import from sat node. I'm going to run it so we can see the surface that was imported into our Dynamo workspace. Now this file consists of two different surfaces. The top part curves in just two dimensions and the bottom part curves in three dimensions. So I'm going to divide this video into two parts. The first I'll show you how to create a grid from a 2D surface. The second part of the video is going to show you how to create a grid from a surface that curves in three dimensions. So let's extract the surface that just curves in two dimensions. We'll do that with the code block and a list.get item at index node. As we go through this Dynamo script, we're going to uncheck preview on all the, the previous nodes so we can see the latest version of the surface that we have. So I'm going to hide the geometry.import node and the file path node. So now that we've extracted the surface that we want, let's start dividing it into points. We'll do this with the surface.pointed parameter node, another code block. Now we need to specify points in two directions, the U and the V direction. So this code block is saying in the U direction, I want to go from point zero to point one and divide that line in 10 parts. And the V direction, I'm going to go from zero through one and divide the line into five equal parts. Now, when you run it, you can see just five points were created. And the reason for that is we need to change the lacing on the surface.pointed parameter node to cross product. And now you can see all 50 points on that imported surface. Now, in order to create a grid, we need a duplicate surface offset from this main surface. We'll do that with the offset node and specify an offset distance of 10. We also want to extract the same number of points from this offset surface. So I'll just copy the pointed parameter node over. I'm going to use the same U and V values. Next, we need to actually draw a curve going through all these extracted points. And we'll do that with the NURBS curve by points node. We'll have one for each of the curves. And when you run it, you can see these vertical curves were created going through all those points. Now we want to create a new list by joining these two item lists. We'll do that with the list.create node. Let's create surfaces using the surface by loft node and run it. Now the issue is we just get the same surfaces that we started with. We're not getting surfaces in the other direction. And the reason for that is we need to transpose the list. So transposing basically swaps the rows and columns in a list. So I'm going to insert that in between our list create node and the surface by loft node. Now, when we run it again, you can see we actually get the vertical ribs that we need. But we want some thickness to these ribs. So I'll create a surface thicken node now, there are two ways you can thicken surfaces, one by thickening it just on one side and one by thickening it equally on both sides. And I'm going to choose the latter. I'll specify a thickness of just one for now and create a Boolean node, set that to true. I'm going to hide all the other previous nodes so we can see just the final ribs. I'll switch to geometry view to see all the 10 ribs more clearly. And that looks pretty good. I'll switch back to node view and group all these nodes under a 2D vertical group. I'll copy this over because 
all the ribs that we may need to make in the horizontal direction are very similar. We just need to modify one thing in this process. So let's hide the surface thicken node and start with the horizontal ribs. Everything in the beginning stays the same. The only thing we need to change are the nerves curves. Instead of running in the vertical direction, we want the nerves curves to run in the horizontal direction. I'll ungroup all these nodes and insert a list transpose node in between the surface and the nerves curves. Everything else is going to stay the same. And here we have created ribs going in the other direction, the horizontal direction. I'll turn the vertical ribs on so we can see our final interlocking ribbed output. That looks pretty cool. So we looked at how to create a ribbed structure from a surface that curves in two dimensions. Now the second part of the video is going to show you how to do the same thing with a surface that curves in three dimensions. I'll start off this new Dynamo script the same way. I'm going to bring in the surface file from the Dynamo Primer website. Now instead of selecting just the top part, we're going to use the entire surface for this round. We're then going to extract points in the U and the V direction using the surface dot pointed parameter node. Let's select 10 points in each direction just because it's a larger surface. We don't see any points right now, and that's because we need to change the lacing to cross product in that surface dot pointed parameter node. When we do that, we're able to see all 100 points that were generated from the surface. Now, similar to the first time we did this, we're going to create a lofted or offset surface from the imported main surface. We're going to loft it by a distance of 10 again, and also extract 100 points from this new lofted surface. Also make sure that the lacing in this new surface is set to cross product. The next thing we have to do is create NURBS curves. I'm just going to hide uh, this, the points so we can see the curves more clearly. And you can see they're running in the vertical direction. Now, if we create a simple list of all these curves, and then just create a surface by lofting it, we're not going to get the correct output. And that's because the list is more complex. It has directions in three dimensions. You, you can't just simply add the two lists. We're going to use a list.combine node. And we also need a combinator for this. And for that, we'll use the list.create node. In addition to that, we need a list.map node. And what that does is applies a function to all items in that list. Now, if we don't use the function and we just try to create surfaces from the list map node, we get an error. Now, the function that we need to use is a list.transpose node, which is basically switching all the rows and the columns in our combined list. Once we add that node, we're actually able to get all the vertical surfaces or the ribs that we need. So similar to the first time, we're just going to thicken all these surfaces by a value of two, and we're going to do it on both sides. We we'll set the Boolean to true as well. And let's just hide all the other previous nodes and run the script again. And here you can see 10 ribs were created between the original surface and the lofted surface. I'm going to select all the nodes and create a group called 3D Vertical. We'll then copy it over to create our horizontal ribs. Let's um, just hide all the vertical ribs so we can concentrate on the horizontal ribs for now. So everything here stays the same, except that we need to change the direction of the NURBS curves. Instead of going vertical, we need them to run in the horizontal direction. So to do that, let's use the list transpose node. But the issue is that since it curves in three dimensions, we have to use it in conjunction with a list map node. 
we'll set the list transpose as a function and all the points as the main list and then create NURBS curves from those list maps. And that's it. When we run it, you can see that slats or ribs were created in the horizontal direction. Let's just uh, uncheck all the other previous nodes. So we see just the slats, group all the nodes under the 3D horizontal group. And let's turn on the previous ribs that we created. And that's our final ribbed output. So that was um, a fun video, but I guess you could apply the same principles to a complex roof that you need to create supports for. I'll link both the Dynamo scripts in the description below. And until next time, I'm Belinda. Thanks for watching.